Hey everybody, New Horizon Lawn Care, and it is springtime. We are currently doing a spring cleanup. As you know, sometimes in the fall, the trees do not lose all, lose all their leaves uh, before the snow flies or before it gets super cold. So sometimes, in fact, a spring cleanup is needed to get the remaining leaves that were in the tree cleaned up and get your lawn ready for that new growth. And uh, it has been a pretty warm winter honestly with things we've been doing and, and all that stuff uh like we, we really haven't had much snow we've been you know in a super uh, warm pattern lately but uh, they're saying probably around the um middle of march i think we're going to get super cold again possibly have some snow here in march so we'll we'll see how that pans out but got richard helping me today this was filmed uh, about a week ago it is march 5th at the time of me doing this voiceover, but um, I think this was filmed earlier on, uh, like around the 1st or 2nd of March. So I have just been super busy uh, with some other stuff and uh, trying to get back into getting some videos out for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this one. And, uh, yeah, the leaves were pretty wet, but uh, plugged up the grasshopper a couple times and we were able to get that unplugged and uh, got them cleaned up. One thing that I've got to get figured out is, I don't know if you're noticing here when I'm coming through with the grasshopper, is that the grasshopper creates so much wind that it blows the leaves kind of away from the deck and makes it hard for the grasshopper to suck those up. Uh, but them being a little bit wet is happening, or is, is helpful uh, to keep them from blowing away. But uh, even if I put the, the deck closer to the ground, it, uh, it kind of inhibits the leaves from going under the deck and just more or less becomes a bulldozer. So I kind of have to have them up in the air a little bit, you know, to, to get the leaves to uh, go. Uh, this is at a uh, good friend of mine's actually uh, this is family that we're pretty much doing not my family but the first one we did was a father's house and then this is his son's house which happens to be a local police officer for my hometown so kudos to him and all the awesome work he does so we want to say thank you 
to Mr. Chad and uh, for all the protection that he gives for our community and all the uh, extracurricular activities he does to help out the community. But we did his lawn last fall and of course he didn't have all his leaves down either so we went ahead and cleaned his up. Uh, Richard uh, blew the leaves out of the um, fenced in area. There's a big pool back there and that was a lot of leaves back there so we blew all those out and if you can look there kind of Kind of to the middle to the corner side of your screen, you'll see the big bunch of wet leaves that we came out of there. Those wouldn't hardly suck up for anything just because they were super wet, so I had to mulch them up the best I could. I took the blower off and just kind of chopped them up real good and then put the blower or the sucking, uh, suction vacuum part back on and, and sucked up uh, what was left. But uh, sometimes you just have to go super slow to get that stuff to pick up. As you notice, the uh, ratchet strap on the back there a lot of uh, probably a lot of people asking why does he have a ratchet strap on the back well the hinges on the door are not aligned right or something and they won't keep the door shut they'll keep it closed until you get some weight back there then once you get heavy grass or heavy leaves it wants to push the door open so i kind of have to have something in there to keep the door shut There's always time for a Snapchat story or a Instagram story. Thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the other channels linked below. We'll see you guys in the next one. We've got more spring cleanups to come. This video is made possible by 3 Friday